know we've said this many times before, but I'll say it again. We had a great first half, just an explosive to our offensive this player. At the end of the day, I wouldn't be surprised if we're talking about what a great second half he had. He can usually keep it going for all four quarters. The skilled front board of Jared Solinger and Kelly Wood. Thunder is out there with Thunder Williams, and it's Evans in for small forward. That's the Boston five. He feeds it to Tucker. Takes it to Hill. For the tie. And Jared Sullinger pulls it down. Sullinger's got big on number five here tonight. Hunter Williams dishes to Evans. Here's Olympic. An amazing finish for the Hunter Williams. Hunter Williams got the first pass for the third quarter for the Sullivan's. Aces 3 0 9 5. Here's Tucker. He takes it to Jordan. Gibbs passes to Hibbers, gets the bucket. Hibbers got eight points. Some big points there. I mean, they got him on a nice play to get the ball right to the bucket. That's what they're looking for down the stretch. You are more of the same. Get it inside. At the top side. It's stolen. It's two on one. Here's George. Distance up. Austin leading by three. And Sullivan kicks to him. His ball delivered by Boston. No good for Thunder. The baser is a ball on one of three. She's starting to show him. The winning the best of them. Spiked away. <laughs> Outside, you know, Hibbert swings the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. Great job. Take it right after the defense. I like the aggressiveness. Yeah, he left with no choice but to foul there. This is his first chance in the line tonight. Well, he's shooting about 74% from the line this year, guys. That's a decent percent. And, fellas, I, I think you have to like his improvements over his free throw numbers from a year ago. It's not a significant number or, or a huge amount. But it's improvement nonetheless. And it's going to work in Steve Ford. They're moving it well. Yeah, you love to see teams share the sugar. Everybody getting in touch. Everybody enjoying an opportunity to score. It makes a lot of fun. Here. Everybody on the field. Yeah, it sounds better when you see it than watch it. Okay? <laughs> I like better when you say it. Sharing the sugar. Why, well, Steve? You can pass the cream, too. I mean, while you're at it. I mean, this has been something to watch. I mean, it's just everybody getting involved. <laughs> Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Here's Tucker. He has six. Outside Hill. Down to five on the shot clock. For the lead. Can't get it to go. And the slow's going the other way now. Now here's Tucker Williams. Looking for a first thing. Get to it. Defended by George. And a foul from the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Austin's to the fourth and fifth attempts of the free throw line tonight. And that one falls for Evans. He's perfect from the line this time. Third quarter here, with three minutes to come off the clock. Here's Tucker. This is David. Eight feet away. No good off the back of the rim. Boy, have they been hitting the glass hard or what? It's kind of surprising it's such a tight game. I tell you what, very rarely we out down the court like that. I don't have to pay off. One of the games that guys did that. Evans gets the win. Six to shoot. And the winner is good. Paul Willis with his third bucket of the night. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. 
pieces field by five. They can use a big shot here to get this offense going. You're a good kid. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. Gibbs pass it to George. Beats it to Tucker. Bills. Pass to Gibbs. Good shot. Good. That's well. Picking up the assist. Bills got three assists in the game. And that's why the hook shot was invented in the first place. Like, Talk to the defense to get to that shot. Evans attacking Thunder puts it up. He hits the back iron and sets the shot. Thunder's got one. They found the hook in the middle of the perimeter and got the ball to the floor. Here's Thunder. He's got six. Back to Hibbert. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Here's Hill. Rebound, Boston. Sullivan just got six rebounds here tonight. Unfortunately, that's been the result for him over and over, guys. He just cannot find the bottom of the basket. They set the pick. Now, here's his brother Williams. He's tightly guarded. Fully on this. He's just trailed by five. Hill loses to Hibbert. And it comes off the front of the rim. The Zellers have gone three or six in the third quarter, 50 percent of the team. And now they're just going to tell you that you think these defenders would have done a little more for the strength of this stuff, Kevin, but it's so far no good. Now, a phenomenal area of self care for us. It's going to be over again. Not watching for the line that time. And now let's check in on the two boys. Come around the league and see which one of them is playing the stingiest defense in the span of the last 10 games. In the third spot, Paul George. Well, this is a very intense group. You know, those steals haven't come by accident. We got them through the effort. They're willing to spend on that aspect of the game. Right on. I mean, they're locked down defenders all of them. As pretty a group of guys as you can have on the group. Evans gets through with it. And so he ends a trip to the line. Officials on the contact the LSU too. Here's where Boston sits right now, Kevin, in the current league rankings. First in three-point field goal percentage. First in fewest turnovers per game. And they're the number two field goal percentage team in the league. This is a team that has really grown in that area, taking good shots and knocking them down. Dad, you look at those numbers, and what obviously stands out is first in the league in three-point shooting. That's amazing.